I've decided that uh, sandbox mode was getting boring. You know, there's just no challenge at all. Uh, so instead, I'm going to be doing career mode. Uh, this is where the fun actually begins, because now not only do things need to actually function well, they also need to be affordable, and uh, <laughs> uh, science is now a factor as well. Uh, so, uh, this is on normal difficulty because some of the you know, other difficulty settings were ridiculous, uh, such as a lower resource uh, gathering for the harvesters, which I wouldn't have tolerated. Uh, but to begin with, I actually haven't played career mode in a long time. Uh, in the missions area, we're going to see what we have. In retrospect, I should have started with career mode because there's just so much content uh, that's in career mode that's not in sandbox mode. And that's another thing. Uh, I've been thinking about what career mode uh, might work like in uh, KSP2, I remember, and uh, that's going to be launching in uh, early 2020, I believe. No, yeah, 2020. Uh, this is an easy one, and so is this. These two are slightly more difficult, but I can easily do both of them. Uh, except, right now, I think I can only have two active at a time. Yeah, uh, see? Hmm. Oh, uh, we, uh, we don't need any new ones. We already have four. And I don't think this will be necessary right now, either. And we have nothing to spend here. Actually, let's see what's further along in the tree. Yes, this is for uh, hybrid uh, space planes. Uh, this is for uh, better, <laughs> better industry. Uh, this is for uh, better probes, and uh, and this is cheating. <laughs> now, once you get these, you practically have all the energy you want, uh, except it it also costs money. Uh, uh, quite an absorbent amount of money, actually. I think that's the right term. Yeah, uh, I think that's all the buildings except for the two we'll be using next. Yeah, uh, so... For this one, all it wants is uh, a science report uh, before launching and the actual launch. And as you can see, we have nothing. I'm going to have two of these, though, as I always do in the uh, campaign beginning part. Yes. And so this is going to be the first one. Uh, about as simple as it could possibly be. And we're not even going to bother name. Actually, yes, we are. We're going to call this... Hold on. There. We're basically just going to be throwing a science brick up into the air and then letting it fall back down. Only it's going to be a controlled fall. Here. That's a weird option for in here. Oh yeah, you can change how much solid fuel is in the booster to change how long it burns for. Or the thrust limiter uh, to change how long it burns for, but also how much at a time. Hmm. Anyway, I think that's everything for this. We're going to be using this pilot here.
This is going to be maximum efficiency. So first, I'm going to do a crew report right here. Now we're going to transmit that. Oh, uh, never mind. Now we're going to be keeping that instead because we have no communications. <laughs> if we transmitted it, it would have been maximum efficiency, but now we don't get that option. We're also going to be doing this. And also this. Now these, uh, now these reports have really good uh, flavor text in them, which is another thing you miss out on if yeah, you do sandbox mode. Oh. <laughs> and now, we launch. Only I forgot staging, so we're also going to be having our parachute deployed at the same time, which actually doesn't matter, as you can see. The hardest part is waiting to, for landing. It's just going to be boring. Actually, I had a thought. Uh, not even... Uh, so you need to be on Gerben's surface in order to even deploy. But wait, I have an idea. What if you deployed on the surface and then and then launched them into space? <laughs> uh, would they just explode or would they remain outside? Uh, and nothing got broke either, which is also pretty okay. I think... I don't think there is a way to recover the vessel from this screen. You would need to... probably... oh look at this. Oh, the milestones. Uh, you would need to go to the tracking station I think. Or in this case we can just go directly to the space center. And I'll show you why. We can just do this. Yeah, perfect. And we have the science and money now. And also, I think we got uh, either a full refund of the components or a partial refund. Also, I got a refund of uh, some of the monopropellant. Oh yeah, I forgot you could you could get paid for bringing back uh, fuel. So what we could do is we could send out mining operations uh, with empty tanks and bring back full tanks of fuel and sell the fuel so it can be literally become an oil industry. Uh, that would be pretty nice. Like <laughs> one experience gained. <laughs> A whole one experience. Uh, and now we are you know, in a considerably better condition. Hmm. We're going to be uh, coming back here again while looking at what's available uh, first, uh, before anything else. Actually, no. We're going to be going to the uh, the science first. Ah, uh, more science. Uh. So, spending science in order to be able to get more science is another important thing to, uh, to keep track of and do. These two here are uh, critical. Yeah, I can't get very much further in the game without those, so yeah, I might as well get them right now. And so, buying something like this that has a science component in it practically pays for itself. And these ones that don't have any science in them don't pay uh, at least not in directly in science. They could pay in getting the science to where you want the, the science to go. Uh, 
and looking at uh, what's available right now, uh, peering ahead as well. Oh, here's the struts. <laughs> uh, that, that's going to be a, an important one for most people. Hmm. Uh, the next up, since we can only afford one more, actually, looking at this, we can only afford this one, which actually has a lot of components we need, uh, mostly this one. There. And so that's all we can do with that. But the good news is, I think with the money we have right now, we can escape the atmosphere and orbit at the same time. Hmm. But what else do we have is the real question, because... Oh, and also these offers expire, so we're going to need to be careful of that. This one expires in five hours. Probably going to want to focus on the ones that expire first, actually. Hmm. It says to just bring it into flight above Kerbin. That's actually really simple. Uh, even simpler than these two that we had earlier. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Forgot to look at the altitudes. Oh, and the speeds are also important. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to do these two first. And now we're going to design our, our new spacecraft. Actually, before that, uh, should we upgrade any of these? That would be really expensive at this point. So no. Actually, if we want extended crew, we can just use multiple pods like that. We could have used that earlier in order to get more EVA reports, I think. Hmm. For re-entry, I think we're going to want to have something like this. Hmm. I don't think I want to waste time on a decoupler, because if all of this burns off, then that's exposed and fixes the problem. And if it doesn't, then this was unnecessary to begin with. So that's not a problem. I don't think we want to do any uh, communicating of this science information because it's too valuable to waste like that. We also want parachutes. And again, if we don't slow down uh, fast enough with the parachute, with all of this on it, then landing on all of this will break the fall anyway, so a decoupler here would be redundant, basically. And now we have a lot more science to work with, so I'm just going to pile it on. <laughs> haphazardously. Actually, I don't think we want those poking up like that. Yeah, they might get burned off. There. That's looking better. Oh, uh, there are no caps. But we can do this. 
This does not look like enough to get into orbit. And also back. So what I'm going to be doing is this. Just going to be copying everything. Ah, uh, not like that though. Like that. And this time we're going to be more careful of staging. I think that should be enough, but I'm not entirely sure, so there's no way to tell until we actually try. Uh, these uh, slightly bigger ones also have more thrust on top of having more fuel. Hmm. Well, the payload isn't very uh, extremely large or heavy, so it should be enough. Uh, just going to there and ah, uh, that's a problem. Uh, how many parts are there in this? Forty. That's a lot and just need to pare it down uh, not too badly mm. I don't think we need uh, winglets so we're just going to be getting rid of those there uh, they were redundant anyway, we don't need those Ah, uh, that's also a problem. Uh, just taking a uh, look at fixing that. Uh, no, this one. There. Uh, that was worth it. And now we should be able to launch. I don't like how springy that is. Yeah, kind of uh, worrisome. Going to be quick saving. If this doesn't work, I will be reloading. Uh, <laughs> I'm not against uh, cheating like that. Uh, this is working better than I thought it would. So, some time has passed, uh, but that's irrelevant. With this thing, it looks like we're not going to get fully into orbit, but we are going to get into space. And that should be good enough. Except for the goo canisters, they got destroyed. I'm sure we're not using those. Hmm. I'm going to try to get into orbit anyway. Oh, it actually looks like it might work. Ah, uh, in that case... 
going to do this. So since we're already in space, we can just collect the science. Uh, that's kind of boring. Yeah, this doesn't look like enough. Uh, in that case... Now I can take readings from high atmosphere. I need to find a way to protect the goo canisters next time. Are we going to go in too fast? We might want to come in sideways just to help break. Doesn't look good. We're getting pretty low. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, uh, hmm. yeah. <laughs> so instead of that. <laughs> I'm going to think of what else we can do. I think I know where we can start. So I'm going to put all of our science in here. This doesn't seem right. <laughs> That's good enough. I don't like how it's poking out right there. <laughs> and I think that should be good enough. So this is the 30 of 30 parts maximum. I have a feeling that we might be able to do it <coughs> if we exit the atmosphere at an angle instead of directly up, but that might also make it impossible. <laughs>
I think that might make uh, <coughs> make enough of a difference for us to be able to finally reach orbit. Except if that hadn't happened. Uh, so, I forgot to check the staging, so look at this. Yeah. Yeah, just one more time now, I think. <laughs> what was that? Uh, never mind that then, I think. Uh, let's just go. So, I'm going to be pointing hard to the right to begin with, and going to also be flipping around. Uh, uh going to try again. <laughs> so, this time, I'm trying that, but less aggressive this time. trajectory looks like this, which is much closer to what we already want. Uh, and now that we're out of atmosphere, everything will be easier. Uh, going to do more scans in uh, upper atmosphere when we come back down. I'm not sure even this is enough to begin orbiting. I'm uh, going to try anyway though. No. Hmm. In that case, we don't need this anymore. Actually, I had an idea. If I detach after rotating really fast, now that will make it so that we get launched forward. Or downward. Uh, no significant change in, the, in trajectory. And now we do quickly do the science that we can up here while we're falling. There. And so now we shouldn't uh, collide with the ocean again, 
I don't think, since we have less uh, inertia from detaching the booster. If I point like this, it should have a gliding effect, though, to help us uh, do better on entering. It's too small to be the moon. That's probably Minmus. I should be able to deploy, deploy the parachute soon now. Maximum efficiency. Only a hundred meters above the water. <laughs> and now we can just recover this. Oh, and that's a lot more science and money. Yeah, look at all of that. Oh, and these are the locations of those missions. And so now these missions are available. And also we have more money to upgrade things like the launch facility. Although if we did this right now, that would be all of our money. The first thing that should be done is uh, looking at science. Oh, uh, this thing. Or what we could do is, <coughs> we can do science on other planets and then put the science into these storage units and then fire the storage units at Kerbin uh, with an artillery cannon. And that way we could efficiently get the science back. I think this one is first, though. And then this one. And then this one. <coughs> and so that should be all the parts we need for right now. Ah, uh, but that's enough for right now.